This is the story of how a blizzard struck Southern California. So as much as I love the classic 72 and sunny in LA, this whole SoCal snowstorm in February 2023 basically released my inner child. It brought me back to the good old days in the northeast of watching your local news channel, waiting for school to announce closure. Because really, aside from the major inconvenience as an adult, there's nothing more exciting than a blizzard warning. And here in SoCal, the first blizzard warning in 30 years. A common East Coast ritual to manifest a snow day is to wear your pajamas inside out. While I knew it wasn't going to actually snow in the city, I had to get to the snow one way or another. I was energetic and determined for a snow day. First, on Thursday, February 23rd, there were reports that the Hollywood sign received a light coating of snow. And knowing seeing this with your own eyes could very well be a once-in-a-lifetime experience, I headed over to Lake Hollywood Park, even though I knew the snow would probably already be melted. I am going storm chasing, or should I say snow chasing, because I was just told that there is snow on the freaking Hollywood sign. What is going on in California lately? I was too late. The snow is gone. But that doesn't mean that there was not snow here on this grass here at Lake Hollywood Park and up at the sign itself. That is crazy. This is a historic day in Los Angeles. And then it started raining on the drive back, so I had to stop on Mulholland Drive to see the city from above. I must have said a few times in some of my past videos that the weather never changes here in Los Angeles, and you know what? I take it all back now. While I was up at Mulholland, I then got a report that it was hailing in Venice. So basically, my storm chasing had redirected me in the wrong direction. I could not keep up. But that's okay, because it then started hailing right at home in Culver City two days later. Is that hell? I was just trying to go get coffee. Hell, literally. What? I wish I could say it was snow, but it's hell. That doesn't mean that this is unusual. And then the power went out all over the neighborhood. Going on hour four without electricity. The traffic lights in the neighborhood are out. The cars are driving amok. LA is an apocalypse right now. But while it was hailing in Culver City, it was also snowing, like actual snow, in the Inland Empire, the cities of Fontana, Rancho Cucamonga, and Claremont. Now, while I've never even been to these cities, I couldn't even believe the videos I watched, and again, had FOMO. And on Sunday, the mountains were blanketed with a heavy coat of snow, making LA look like we had left California and were now in Colorado. Look at that snow! It's snowing outside. <laughs> the hunt to get up to the mountains was in full force, except... Okay, boo, it's closed over here. Angeles Crest Highway, no good, road closed. Well, at least I could get the drone up. It continued to rain and rain in Los Angeles, making me wonder if I was in California, Colorado, or New Jersey. Except, I was still out of luck with seeing snow. I figured that if I couldn't drive up to the snow right now due to the closures and dangerous conditions, I could try to get there by foot. And the day after a second huge storm, I figured it was worth a shot. After blizzard number two last night and this morning, I'm here at Echo Mountain in Altadena to get to a higher elevation to hopefully see some snow. Okay, not to freak out or anything, but it's literally snowing. Reporting live from Echo Mountain, we got some flurries casting down at about 2,000 feet of elevation. And then bring my sled. I don't taste them. Uh, <laughs> carry on. California is too weird because it's flurrying, but it's also sunny. I can't wrap my head around it. Okay, not gonna lie, it does not look like there's snow up in Echo Mountain, but there could still be some lingering around the ground. So I think it's worth it. I feel like it's just too warm for there to actually be snow, but I say that as it's literally flurrying, so who the f knows anymore? I give up. It's getting really windy up here. I swear if I blow off a mountain just to try to see snow on the ground. When I finally made it to 3,200 feet of elevation, I don't believe this. I made it all the way up here and there's no snow on the ground. <sighs> Mission not accomplished. 
no snow. Except for a small pile of dirty snow and a rusty old snowman that was melting faster than Frosty. At least I got a selfie with him before he melted away forever. The small traces of snow were a sign that once again, it was here, but I was too late. This will not do. I could technically hike further up to Inspiration Point, but I was feeling too tired and the sun would be setting soon. At least I got some good exercise and good views, but this is teasing me even more. I need to throw a f***ing snowball. I felt defeated and ready to give up on this winter wonderland fantasy. I swear, if all I get out of this blizzard is a few sunny flurries and a melted snowman, I'm gonna be pissed. On that same day, an avalanche occurred near Mount Baldy Ski Resort, the second highest peak elevation in Southern California. And two days later, I figured that if I couldn't safely make it up to the resort, I could still make the drive up and find somewhere else on the side of the road. Finally getting up to the mountain, hopefully. After all this time, finally seeing this beautiful snow. <sighs> I did it. I did it. I got my snow day. It is just even more beautiful than I ever could have imagined. I'm stuck. That's gotta be like at least six feet of snow down there, if not more. And finally, I get to throw a snowball because this is the story of how a blizzard struck Southern California. But more significantly, this is the story of how an adult who used to wear his pajamas inside out as a child hoping for a New York snowstorm found one instead across the country. Well, kind of. It definitely was a journey. So actually, this is the story of how an adult went storm chasing across Los Angeles County by driving to landmarks and closed down highways, climbing mountains, and feeling defeated only to finally realize that it was never really about finding snow, it was about finding childhood. And on this snow day, he became a kid again. This has been a chaotic week to say the least, but in this moment right now, it makes all that storm chasing feel worth it. Literally, it's like six feet of snow at least. It's crazy.